move on. And with this one, we will dive into the Cincinnati Bengals. Um, and, you know, obviously it's all Joe Burrow here. Went 2-14 and 14 last year. Had the number one pick. Their win total right now is set at 5.5. Uh, to go over is minus 140, so they expect, you know, 6 as opposed to 5 here. Uh, but the under is plus 110. To win the division, plus 1,600. So that ain't going to happen this year. There's just not enough on this roster uh, for them to be able to do that right now, especially with the other teams that are in the division. Uh, head coach Zach Taylor in his second season, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens with him. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm curious. I'm curious because he's one of those guys that was hired just because he at one point shook hands with Sean McVay. That's so, right. You know, we'll he see what no he's got. He has no credentials whatsoever. He was just friends with Sean. Uh, as it stands last year, the stats were not good. Offensive yards per play, they were number 28 in the league, 4.9 yards per play. Defensive yards per play, they were number 31 at 6.1 yards per play given up. And turnover margin, they were number 29, so they weren't any better on that part. They gave up .9 turnovers per game. It's not good. Not good. Now, they do have Burrow, A.J. Green, and Joe Mixon. And there ain't a whole lot behind those, but those are that's that's a foundation Ooh. that you can build on. I think Tyler Boyd's going to want to have a word with you. Eh, and and T Higgins, I think can. Uh, but again, yes. we we ain't even talking about him. Yeah, but I, I believe Tyler Boyd will want to have a word with you. Okay, okay, that's totally fine, totally fine. Uh, Joseph Gomez jumped in by the way. He said, "Don't forget the Vikings traded for uh, Injoku in Indajuku. How do you say in, that? His name is Injoku. And it I is didn't Injoku. Know that, that trade happened." Uh, yeah, no, it, it did happen uh, in exchange for a second rounder and a potential 3-4. Uh, Jags are wholesaling everybody. And uh, in Baltimore gets their number one tight end back in Andrews. Yeah, I said that. Um, Joseph said, don't be surprised if Mixon carries the Bengals better than Saquon carries the Giants. 100%. I, I think that could be totally fair. Mixon is a hell of a player. It, what do you it got was never, uh, I have got these guys. Well, hold on. Uh, they they revamped their defense. Have you seen all the guys they brought in? Yes. Uh, so this Von is a completely Bell, different team than last year. This is not yeah. just Joe Burrow added to this team and everything else is moot. Okay. Ah, here it is. DFS Bachelor comes in. It's it's Yannick Njokwe. That's it. Oh, I thought <laughs> you were talking about David Njoku. No, David Njoku no, 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 no. He's no. a guy for Cleveland as a tight end, and he's trying to get traded. Yes, no, no, no. He was. We were talking about the uh, the Minnesota. I was about to say. Trade. I did yeah. not know that happened at all. Yeah, Minnesota in uh, in the Jaguars. So oh, this was yeah. dating back to the the Fournette talk. I'm not. Um, so, uh, so they brought in Von Bell, they brought in uh, Trey Waynes, they brought in DJ Reader. Uh, the defense, not completely revamped, but for the most part, yeah. I mean, that's it's pretty revamped. That's, pretty, that's, a lot of, that's a lot of keep. All those guys they brought in are a lot better than the guys that they'll be replacing. Yes. Now, that, their that, schedule, that helps. because they were so bad last year, obviously the schedule sets up a lot better for them this season. That's right. However, I think with a rookie quarterback, I think it's going to take just a little bit of time. I've got them improving. But I still got them going under. I've got them five and eleven. Uh, but I, I think I mean there's a strong shot they could win six, seven games here just because of the way that the schedule sets up. So yep. yeah, I, I I've got them five and eleven. How uh, how do you feel? I got them eight and eight. I think this Ooh. team is going to be good. I think okay. they're going to be a much much improved, much improved. That is not all just Joe Burrow. I think Joe Mixon's going to show the league he's elite. Right? Well, and and you get AJ Green back healthy, and it, so uh, long as he can stay healthy, we, we're about to get there. Okay, AJ Green is still a professional wide receiver, and guess what? Yes, he's been hurt. He didn't have the miles on his legs. His legs are fresh, and that dude looks great in camp. I know everybody looks great in camp. Tyler Boyd has has been connecting with Joe Burrow in, in camp all the last couple of weeks. I think he is going to break out this year. That offense is going to look way different. They're only going to go as far as Zach's going to take them, all right? Yeah. And that's the problem. We, had the, we, we got a Freddie Kitchen situation here. On, do you have a team that is poised and ready to play with the dudes on the field, but I got a moron calling plays? I don't know the answer to that question yet because Me either. he he was stifled. I can't really judge him from last year because that team was trash last year. Okay, <laughs> so that's not his fault. All right, that was a team that was trying to tank. Okay, and 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 so that's not all on him. We will see what what he really is worth. Because I do think that defense is going to be better. I think they I don't think this team is just gonna get beat by everybody who's better than them. I think I think they are they're gonna find ways to win games because there are just too many guys on this team. That offensive line was trash last year. 
that offensive line's going to be pretty good this year. Okay, hey, you you they might be right. And they got some bot. So guys, this this team doesn't look anything like last year's team. Yeah, isn't I it like strange it. that it's the Bengals that are actually maybe doing a pretty good job rebuilding an offense or rebuilding a, a roster? Well, we're, I mean, we're, yeah, we're going to get to the other teams. I listen. I, I these are not your, your mama and daddy's Ohio teams. Okay, now you got that right. Cleveland and Cincinnati are getting out of the cellar. Uh, let's see. Uh, DFS ba- uh, DFS bachelor, a uh, buddy Kyle from SBR yeah. yes, jumps sir. in. He said, "Great job, fellas." Uh, he said, "D from uh, from Jacksonville is who we were talking about." So, uh, yeah, no, he's. I'm glad he's watching, man. I'm glad uh, those guys we do a fantastic it. job. It, you need yep. to go and check out the NFL show over there. He and Donnie do a fantastic job on SportsbookReview.com. So go on and check that out. Uh, moving on, 